Hello, you absolute legends. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's John here, and I've got home from work to find this parcel sitting waiting for me. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's full of proton goodies. I have absolutely no idea what's inside it. Uh, I was contacted a little while ago uh, by a guy called uh, Alex. Big shout out to Alex who uh, contacted me to say, hey, John, I've got some uh, proton related stuff that you might be interested in. What's your address? And I immediately gave a random stranger my address, uh, which I've covered up with this comedy address for this uh, purpose. Um, but in here then, a big box as you can see for uh, scale. This is my dining room table. Massive box, it's quite heavy, it's eight kilograms. And uh, in this video we're gonna open the box up and have a look at some of the proton goodies that I held inside. Now I'm gonna try and do it uh, one-handed and be really careful because obviously I don't wanna damage anything. So I've got the world's sharpest, best knife from Ikea. Uh, and I'm going to gently open this parcel and see what's in it. Big shout out then uh, to Alex for sending this to me. I genuinely have absolutely no idea what is in here. It could be anything, couldn't it? It doesn't feel like parts. Um, because it's not rattly, it feels more like a cushion. Uh, it could be, I don't know, seat covers? Who knows? Uh, teddy bears? I have got a proton teddy bear. Um, he has said some of these bits uh, are relevant to my new car, which is the Proton 1.5 SE. And if you haven't seen that video already, check it out on the channel. Uh, this is really difficult one-handed. Uh, or uh, he said that some bits are for the Proton Museum. Uh, and more about that in another video. Right, what we got then? Well, I can see, wow, there's a whole host of Proton goodies in here. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, get rid of all this packaging. Oh my goodness, there's some really awesome bits in here. He's even put me some smart stuff in. Uh, he's put me in a smart uh, service book. Obviously, I have got a a smart car, and there it is, um, here on the channel, as he knows I've rebuilt it. That's awesome. I've not got one of these. Cool, little piece of uh, smart memorabilia. We'll stick that there. There's some Proton documents here. This is the six-year anti-corrosion program. This was released in 1994, um, and cars were guaranteed uh, right up until the year 2000. Has this been filled in? No, it's not been filled in. It's absolutely blank. This is awesome. A brand new, never been filled out Proton six year anti corrosion program document. That's awesome. Thank you. Here's an owner's manual. Now, I must admit, I have got a few of these, but this is uh, cool to have. Um, I actually like looking through these to see if there's any details of the previous owners, i.e., the cars in here. People normally jot down the number plates uh, and you can find out who. And what the car was, sadly nothing in there. But that's a Proton owner's manual. That's from an early one. Uh, it relates to, is there a date in it? Sometimes they date them. Um, there's no date in there, but it's going to be sort of 92, 93. Another owner's manual. It's exactly the same. This time uh, a little bit less uh, quality-wise. It's not as good. So any notes in here? No notes in there either. Ah, Oh no, that's the key number. That's the key lock number. Cool, I've not got one of these. This is a later service book for a Proton. Uh, again, it's not been filled out. That's awesome. It's brand spanking new. This is for a later car. Uh, I would suggest maybe 96 onwards. Printed in Malaysia though. Uh, Misty's here playing. Um, that's awesome. Brilliant, nice service book, a later one. What's this, what's in here? Is that just packaging? Looks like it's just some packaging. We'll get rid of that. The cat has immediately found the packaging. Um, there's some more bubble wrap in here. Get rid of that. <laughs> uh, some more proton goodies. Oh, wow, look at that. That is cool. Now that is real cool. I've never seen one of these before. Shame about that little bit of marking in that top corner. There's a couple of these proton carrier bags and I can almost feel Mrs. John Coopman's eyes rolling into the back of her head as she's <laughs> sat listening to me filming this, getting excited about some carrier bags. These are really cool, really good condition. And actually they're just like a screen printed plastic, but they've got the, the old logo on. 
That is awesome. Never seen any of those. They are a welcome addition to the Proton Museum. Couple of them. Winner. Thank you very much. Uh, some more documents in here. Wow. Now, I've never seen this. The Proton Magazine. Issue number one, summer 1996. don't know who this guy is, but he's having a great time with his hatred. You can win a paradise holiday. Uh, amazing Malaysia. Shame that there's, uh, it's been in a, a ring binder. Someone's punched some holes in it. Uh, the exciting new personas and the amazing Malaysia. Wow, this is brilliant. And there's some lovely press conference stuff here. Dear Principal, another important element of the After Sales program announced to you in the December conference is now underway. The Proton Magazine is a new uh, initiative designed to improve communication with our customers and in doing so achieve a number of objectives. And that is going to be signed. Yep, there it is. John England, the General Manager Sales uh, Director as well. Brilliant. There's some awesome stuff in here, including this lovely... Uh, Proton Extended Warranty RAC and the tick sticker here. That can be converted into a decal and a sticker. That's awesome. Wow, look at all these. News updates. Proton Magazine number one. Amazing Malaysia. Brilliant. Oh, wow, win a holiday in paradise. The Proton Crossword. I need to take a picture of that. Who wants to do the Proton Crossword? Ah, <laughs> brilliant. Ah, oh, some accessories. Um, the uh, Proton Alarm System, that's a Gemini system. Oh, look at these genuine Persona uh, covers and some fantastic carpet mats. Never seen uh, any. I've never seen any Velour carpet mats. I've only ever seen um, plastic ones. Uh, where to write to? The Proton Magazine Marlowe Books. Please send some correspondence there. Uh, and then this bloke here, who's this? This is financial consultant Tony Marks. He's got his H Reg uh, bumper there. And there's some awesome Proton Rally stuff here as well. That's really cool. And then obviously a uh, new persona. Brilliant. Awesome. Love that. In fact, what I'm going to do is just put that uh, insert back in there. Let's keep that nice and safe. These are really the exciting bits, uh, this sort of stuff. The Proton Magazine number two, oh, issue two. In fact, issue one looks cooler than issue two. The 1,000 mile a week Proton. That's what we're going to be doing this week whilst I'm dailying uh, my Proton, by the way, 1.5. Why not treat yourself? Uh, you can go to the Shire Inns, apparently. Uh, your letters. Who's writing into the Proton Magazine? Um, brilliant. Uh, one phrase could sum up the general reaction from Proton owners to the first issue of the Proton Magazine. It's about time to... <laughs> this is brilliant. Norman Ed Evans, he's the editor. We've, uh, we've promoted him. 1996, this was uh, printed. News updates. Oh, look, they're sporting some glamorous GLS turbine trims there. And the Malaysian holiday winner was Jean Welshman from Moulton in Yorkshire. Lots to take in there. Um, there she is. There's Jean and her husband, John. Um, they've clearly bought a proton here. It's a aero back. The hundreds of correct competition entries were re received. Uh, brilliant. Excellent. Well done, Gene. I wonder where Gene is now. Uh, mailbox. Let's read some of these. I drive a 1.3 GE, and I'm pleased to relate that on a 470-mile drive to the Highlands, I received over 60 miles a gallon. No, you didn't, Brian. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> How has Brian worked that out? That's definitely a lie. Uh, here's the Proton Compact. Misty, are you going to stop playing with all that? What a wally. Uh, this is the new Proton. This is the Proton Persona. And uh, details of the International Show Award. <laughs> Built to last. This is a uh, Fab Cab Tony Thorner, license number 007. Uh, an appropriate car sticker for protons. Mm. The next car I'm going to buy is going to be a proton. Well done, Tony. You're awesome. Uh, can you do better? Do you have a remarkable proton story? Well, yes, I do, actually. And I think I might drop the editor a little line, see if he's still receiving uh, <laughs> receiving bits and pieces. Oh, the Q&A, the proton Q&A. Starting blocks, which fuel, aircon in the winter. There's the compact, looking good. 
what's this? This is some more stuff. This is the Proton range. This is the uh, sales books from, I think this is sort of 96, 97. Looking at the models in here, yeah, you've got the Personas uh, and bits and pieces. That's quite cool to have. Got a few of them as well, but that's awesome. Uh, and this is from the Iswara range. This is the MPI Classic. Look at that. Awesome, awesome graphics. And this folds down that way. There it goes. Brilliant. Oh, my goodness. Look at the wheel trims on that SE. Beautiful. Um, right, let's look at what's in the box then, first and foremost. Uh, it's two big boxes and then this and then this tucked down the side. Uh, let's have a quick look what's in here. Is that a flag? <laughs> How awesome is that? I have been searching for a proton flag for so long. In fact, I need to get Mrs. John Coopman's reaction to this. Uh, it's all stuck up in here. I need to just undo this. We actually do have a flagpole at home. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> She's here with Crystal. She's in her onesie. Can you just open this up for me, please, and, and show the good people of YouTube what this is? No. Please? No. Please? No. Right, she's denying me the proton uh, attention that I quite rightly deserve. <laughs> she's enjoying that as well. Crystal's not looking overly impressed. Uh, that is blooming awesome. And uh, thankfully, with the help of Mrs. John Cooper, as you can see, I have managed to open it all up. What's that, a six foot flag <laughs> that is awesome not a fan uh, that is brilliant I'm going to put that on my flagpole and upset my neighbours uh, because they don't like my flags awesome the proton flag and it's in the the MPI yellow tapered background here and the blue as well is that possibly one of the best proton pieces of merchandise I own absolutely look at this and it's never been flown it's brand new i am going to cherish that i might probably not put that on my flagpole um that's awesome there's the cat she's not overly impressed i really like that that's an awesome thing thank you very much uh for that that's made me very happy actually um the original bill of sale is in there so alex fair play to him has, has given me that flag uh what are these? Oh my goodness. Wow. Now these are rare. This is uh, a proton accessory in its original box and they are brand new <laughs> headlight protectors for a MPI. And are they branded proton? I've got to get them out, haven't I? These were something that I had on my Nissan Micra back in the day. You've got the part numbers on here. And you've actually got the Proton Accessories uh, information leaf as well. The box is filthy. Um, this is for the Proton Saloon Aeroback 93 onwards. Clean your headlights, put these on. And actually, they actually cover the uh, indicators as well. I suppose I'm going to have to get one of these out, aren't I? I've got one out of the box. Uh... It's branded Proton on the indicator lens, and these just clip round the headlights. That is fantastic. What a rare accessory. In fact, I'm going to challenge the good people of the UK and the good Proton owners to tell me if they've got any of these on their car, because I am betting now I'm going to put my entire Proton fleet collection on the line that nobody is driving a Proton today with a set of these Proton headlight protectors on um, because they are that rare. Wow, what an awesome piece of kit. Uh, never seen any of these. That is probably the only set of headlight protectors that exist in box, I'm guessing. So I've packaged them away. I've not done a very good job. The box is filthy, but... Hang on a minute. Really? Another set? <laughs> I probably now own the only two boxed new headlamp protectors in the country. That's my challenge. <laughs> I've got another box full. What? I can't believe it. Where has he found these things? 
another set, I'm not going to get those out, but another set of Proton MPI headlight protectors. Absolutely amazing. And oh my goodness, what a treat in the bottom of the box here. Um, I could see something sticking out when I opened it. This is unbelievable. Genuinely, a brand new set of grey velour floor mats. Now, I'm not sure if these are for an MPI. I, 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 I think they're probably for a Persona. But they're grey. They are tailored car mats. Does it say on the back? Made in the UK... For Proton, these are going to be so rare. Tailored car mats, superior quality, classics, and then they've just stuck Proton on them. These are such <laughs> a rare thing. I'm going to have to get them out properly and have a good look. Are they for an MPI? I doubt it. I think they're probably for a Persona. Um... But I'm going to get my MPI floor mats out and have a look uh, and see. We've obviously got the drivers, the passengers, and then the two rear footwells. What am I going to do with them? Well, if they are for an MPI, I'm going to put them in my SE when I show it. And if you haven't seen the SE, there it is outside. I've been commuting in it this week. Um, what an awesome haul. And I am genuinely so thankful to Alex. He has said to me as well, he might have a few more bits uh, in the coming weeks. He's having a bit of a clear out. Um, if you've got some Proton accessories, some Proton bits and pieces, think of me. <laughs> Not that I'll randomly send my address out to people, um, but we will do some more videos like this documenting the historical items in the Proton collection. That flag is awesome. I think I might wear that like Usain Bolt and uh, get Amy to take a... A, a picture of me if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already subscribed please do um i'm on youtube john cooper as you know instagram facebook tiktok and twitter big active on twitter at john cooper all one word till next time have a great day whatever you're doing um i'm sure there'll be a video of me fitting these headlamp protectors to my car uh, and messing it up my flag have a great day take care thanks for watching goodbye